eats her own baby. I planned like a little fun date night. <laughs> I have no clue what's happening. And that's not very normal because he usually plans all the things. But he was in Chicago this weekend for a bachelor party or whatever thing. <laughs> and so we had to put off going to see The Incredibles. Ugh, and everybody has posted everything saying it's great, it's incredible. It's and, incredible. And I've been <laughs> So jealous. And we, oh my gosh, there's a man on a bicycle. Hello. Um, we love The Incredibles and have been like so looking forward to this movie. So, but we had to put it off right when it came out because Jack was gone. So now we're on our way to go see The Incredibles. So that was like mm. part one date night, but he knew that was going to happen, even yeah. though he forgot about it. Yeah. I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to see The Incredibles. But I planned something afterward too that is like so silly and so childish, but I think it's gonna be. <laughs> is there a roller rink up there? No, I'm not taking roller skating. I don't ride skating. Oh, I told him to wear like things he would work out in, which coming from me is bizarre because I never wear athletic clothes outside. <laughs> I don't wear athletic clothes ever, but <laughs> definitely not outside where people can see me. But I figured. So you know how movies have an effect on you and so if you watch a crime movie then you feel like you need to be investigating something or like someone's watching you. So we're gonna go indoor skydiving because the flying. No, I don't know where that is, I wish. <laughs> but the closest thing, I figure you know, we have superpowers, we feel like we can fly or you know, do crazy things. What we are gonna go to the trampoline park. <laughs> no. <laughs> it, the, because there's a trampoline park in, in it's Brandon right Crossing. There. It's oh, right shit. So I was like, he for sure knows that's what we're doing. <laughs> I had no clue. Thing? I hadn't been in forever. I I've went never once been. And, you've never been? Never been. Oh my god, they're fun. Really? They really are so fun. They have basketball. You can dunk. Mm, finally, I've been finally, dreaming of that. Finally, I'm doing it. <laughs> but I thought it would be funny. That I feel will like be we're funny. superheroes. <laughs> Trampoline park. Oh, you're a dweeb. I and I love it. <laughs> I thought we would have fun. Oh yeah. I mean the trampoline was my favorite part of the gymnastics. Yeah. Places. And the, uh, well actually I hated the foam pit. They do have foam pits here, but you don't have to get in them if you don't want. <laughs> okay, I'm super freaking excited. <laughs> I literally was like, Summer, this is so stupid. But I was like, we're going to see The Incredibles. We're basically children anyway. Yeah. I was like, it'll be fun. We're and that's something like blast. totally out of the blue that we haven't done ever. Great. <laughs> okay, yes. It's like, you know, just need make to plan it more deeper. <laughs> Maybe I don't. We'll, we'll see <laughs> after the fact. <laughs> I mean, I can, I can imagine so many different things you can come up with now. Like, like finger painting and, uh, and riding bikes. <laughs> Building Legos. Legos. Playing with Hot Wheels. <laughs> that all sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot. But yeah, I thought it would be fun. That will be fun. It might be a total bus and we may leave. I just but... hope there aren't too many little tiny children that I could possibly land on. They have a deal for families where you get like 25% or 20% off or something. But I mean like how many people are actually going to do that? Monday. They're obviously trying to get people to go there by putting coupons on Monday, Tuesday, and yeah. Wednesday. So, who knows you if say there's that a bunch of coupon. Coupon? How do you say it? Coupon. Ew, you say coupon? <laughs> oh no. Well, you said coupon. Oh no. Yours was like the bougie You're version. You're a couponer. Oh. Is that like a thing? Yeah, whether you say coupon or coupon. I say coupon. All day or coupon. <laughs> well, coupon feels like it's dainty with your pinky out. Dainty. I, I, I am dainty. True. I feel like I feel like it's like a gibberish word. Coupon. Uh, coupon. Or maybe it's just coupon. a different language. Coupon.
coupon. Mm. It's kind of cute. You say a coupon. <laughs> okay, we're just driving, Sorry. but I'm gonna pick this up because we haven't talked to each other in like a whole weekend. <laughs> That's forever. After I eight missed months you. Of <laughs> we can't spend two days. <laughs> oh, then you're moving to Louisville. Okay, I'm putting this up, but I'll show you us watching the Incredibles and our reactions because we're right now. And bouncing on and a trampoline. Bouncing on a trampoline. <laughs> So we, we made it to the movie theaters. <laughs> the theaters. The movie theaters. Um, it's it's called the movie tavern, so it's like a restaurant too. So you like order food, they give you a menu, and it has the yeah. So it has like the sick fold out chairs. Nice. <laughs> We're straight chilling over here. But it's the best. Yeah, there's no one behind us. So nobody threw a popcorn at us in Bolivia. Yeah. Early to catch up on what's new we can throw popcorn at everyone. But we're literally so excited. We're about to order food, and then the movie's gonna start. And a Disney World commercial just came on, and I was like, oh. and Jack said, "Hey, I've been there." Yeah, it was uh, the little thing, cool place in. Uh, Morocco? Mm-hmm. I've got like the little in the Morocco pavilion they have like that room. It has like a big skylight. It's like really pretty. There's like tiled walls. You've been there. But yeah, that's it. We're about to order. So hopefully because I'm hungry. Okay. So it's it's watched. It is watched. We did it. How do we feel? Let's chronologically walk you through. Oh, chronologically. Our experience. Overall, first impression. Of then the movie. we'll. Okay. Then we'll um. Break it up. Okay. Incredible. Literally incredible. It was I, so yeah. good. It was, and it had every little bit from every character that was like nostalgic and satisfying. Yeah. Sarah was like, not enough Edna. Yeah, I mean, I could always do more Edna. I think all a of us could. A whole movie dedicated to her. Yeah, she needs her own spinoff movie. But, but just the amount that she was in there. It was so It was cute. so good and so funny. She was probably the funniest she, part. Um, so good. Oh my gosh, but it, absolutely incredible. I loved it. Sorry, I keep saying incredible. incredible. It was well worth yeah. the wait for it. Yeah. For sure. Which I was salty for years. Yeah. But I'm no longer salty. But Can one we... reason I was salty. Which one are you going with? Um, I don't know. The family that surrounded us. See, that's what I was going chronological order because two things preceded the movie that were not great. One, we had seats in the back of the theater. Um, so we can't be bothered by anybody. So nobody this can throw popcorn nice. at us. Um, and then a family comes up and they must have looked online and saw the seating chart and decided hey it doesn't matter that there are two people sitting right there let's surround those two with our entire young family were there four or five of them five. I think it, there's five were there three so. on your mm -hmm. side yeah okay so three of them were sitting on Jack's side and two of them were sitting on my side so literally at points, they're like whispering over each other. Like one of them, like the dad who was on my side, like left to go to the bathroom. And I had a little kid like right next to me. Yeah, and I had a little kid right next to me. Which is like one, annoying because you don't even probably know the first Incredibles. Yeah, and, they, and throughout the movie they were like, I'm tired. And then the, <laughs> I looked over at my kid once and he was like, how dare so you? So if it was like, if like <laughs> he was responding to something in the movie, I was like, you know what, okay, at least he's into it. Like at one point, there might be spoilers, I don't know if y'all care about them. <laughs> but at one point, the screen slaver, who's like the villain, sort of, in this one, they're like trying to find him and they like rip his little mask off or whatever and then later on they hold the mask up and so the little kid's like, you can like hear him like trying to figure out the plot. So he was like, wait, I thought it was a robot. Like, it's not a robot dad. Like, was it a robot or was it a person? So it's like, if he's saying things like that, it's annoying because he's loud and I want to enjoy the movie. 
but it's like okay he's, he's, he's little he's, he's getting into it, it. He's, his wheels are turning it's cute but then when he's screaming I'm tired dad my cheese or my pizza smells bad take the cheese <laughs> off like, and it literally at one point the mom like leaned over and Sarah and I are sitting right here and she was like Christian Christian <laughs> and Jack and I are just like uh, <laughs> Christian, your and mom then, wants you. So, so we register that a family has <laughs> has sandwiched us. They are. And then, then the screen goes black, and the Disney short. <laughs> I love the Disney shorts. We are big, big fans of the Disney shorts. They melt your heart in like two minutes. They're all the emotion of a full movie packed in to, to a succinct... To usually incredibly cute, tiny little nugget of pure joy. And then this woman <laughs> creates a dumpling baby <laughs> and eats her own <laughs> baby. And the baby had a weird spotty goatee. And she ate him. <laughs> came back as a giant head human. And I'm like sitting there trying I to look at the, the metaphors and the symbolism. And I can't get past that she ate her child and somehow her child not only lived but turned into a human. What I didn't understand about this was... So at the end of the short... Her son is there in real life. Like he's a real life, well, obviously not real life, but <laughs> the cartoon real life. Yeah. He comes back as a real life person. So my question is, <laughs> did we watch him grow up, but she's just personifying him as a dumpling? <laughs> or had he left long ago and we're just in her mind seeing her kind of give this dumpling all these <laughs> <laughs> human characteristics. Either way. Either way, she eats the baby to keep <laughs> it from running off with his fiance. I was not okay with that. I was like sold on a little dumpling. Like I thought he was so cute. I was like, okay, this is so weird, but like yeah, I Yeah, she like scrubbed him with it. a toothbrush. <laughs> it was so cute. His little cheek was like His cheeks would deflate and so she would feed him more like dumpling stuffing and then it would go back in. It was cute. I was like, okay. And she <laughs> ate him. She eats the baby. I'm sorry this is such a long rant. We've talked longer <laughs> about this than the movie. And then he comes back as a human. I was just a little confused and I don't know. I haven't seen anything about this. Nope. Like I haven't seen anyone else be concerned about people, it. Pe more people should have had huge negative reactions to this. This should have been a thing. It should have been a topic of discussion <laughs> on news channels. All the news channels. Like does this clip... Legitimize Woman eating. Eat dumpling, <laughs> dumpling. dumpling baby. <laughs> Headlines across the world. It was just very, very odd. Not a fan. I didn't like it. <laughs> I really didn't. But the movie, great. Yeah, the great. movie the movie was so good. Yeah. It was literally so good. So funny. And it was so awesome to see 14 years of waiting done yeah. so well. Yeah. Yeah. It was so good. So we, we were talking about just like a little bit ago. Because it's like basically, and you see this from the commercials, it's like a last girl, basically. She just goes and dominates. She does everything. I it's, love. Because her power is super cool. Her power is so cool. Yeah. She's so cool. May not sound that cool. Stretching. <laughs> But, but it's cool. <laughs> She's basically a shapeshifter, yeah, but no. just without like looking different. She can yeah. just be whatever she wants. She whatever. pulls off a heck of a, a parachute, human parachute. <laughs> she does. Favorite part, they freaking did a shout out. Oh, it was so good. So I've mentioned this in a video before when I was talking about The Incredibles. 
but our favorite part of the first Incredibles movie is when she turns into a parachute and she goes, brace yourself! <laughs> I don't know why that made us die so hard. I don't know, it's just always been our favorite part. And then in the second one, Frozone, Frozone is like, you know, being all icy. And he's, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and he screams at Helen, he goes, Helen, brace yourself! It was like a shout out to the first movie. It was so good. Might I also add that Frozone Freaking developed kills it. Developed incredible abs for the second movie. Yes, they were busting through his suit. Frozone killed it. There's so much Frozone killed in this it. movie, like so much of his powers. And there was a lack it's of so him good. last time. It was yeah, definitely the sure. par, the Par family. Still very upset that we don't see Honey, his wife. Oh, I know. I was hoping she would have like a little something in there. And and even the the little ode to that was so short. It, and it was hard to understand even what they were saying. Yeah. She just said, you taking that suit? You better get back here ASAP or something. I just, I thought they would draw that scene out and Me because too. that's like the most famous scene from the first one. Oh, for think. sure. That's like iconic. Like, where is my super suit? Why, Why do, do you need, need to know? know? It's so good. So I was hoping they would put a little bit more of that. Well, in that's there. for Incredibles 3. Incredibles 3. And then maybe the Frozen spinoff, like, then I maybe want... the Edna spinoff, yes. which there needs to be. Yes. Shout out to Disney. <laughs> Do it. Just. You'll make a fortune. <laughs> Facts that you need to do. I copyrighted it, though. Copyright <laughs> the idea. Because I'm sure no one else has had it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, oh my gosh. This is incredible. Did you feel slightly sort of Beth that mostly Jack had this incredible idea? Incredible? <laughs> incredible. Idea. Incredible idea. <laughs> No, but it was literally so good. Jack Jack is the cutest thing on the face of the planet. He really is. Although, so the, obviously this whole movie. What about the freaking. I knew, I knew you hated it too. The giant baby. At one point. So the whole movie is kind of about Jack Jack discovering his powers. Not that's not the whole movie, but throughout the movie. So he has like a bunch of different powers that he kind of discovers. And you see a lot of them like several times over, like laser beams, or he catches on fire, he's a monster, the like demon. he multiplies, whatever. But like it only very, happened once. And it only happened once, like towards the end of the movie, he just like expands into this giant <laughs> baby. Fat sumo <laughs> baby. Horrifying looking. It was so scary. Like the monster version of Jack Jack is not like a cute monster. No. You're kind of like, Ugh. Yeah. but it's like, okay, whatever. But like, this was like a giant, giant baby, and he looked. And you're gross. just you're so thrown off. You're just. <laughs> I have to say my favorite thing. Sorry for spoilers if anybody hasn't seen it. If you haven't, I hope that you turned it off a while ago. <laughs> but when freaking Jack Jack gets on fire and Edna Edna's little like uh. The blue fire berry, extinguisher. Like fire extinguisher. <laughs> and he just like swimming it's in. So <laughs> I just love whenever that happened and it under his suit went. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's so cute. Shoot. Great it was name, so too. good. Yeah, Great Jack Jack. Name. What can I say? <laughs> what can I say? Shoot. It was so good. Yeah. And we'll give we you a review it. of the trampoline park now. Yeah, we're going in. Where we will use our own superpowers. <laughs> Super extra bounciness. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Yeah. It doesn't look like there are a ton of people here, which I'm super excited about. We don't have to play them for the court. <laughs> they do have a dodgeball court in here. I mean, there's play, no one to we'll play, play dodgeball with. One. Mm. <laughs> At one time you hit me in the face with a dodgeball in high school. And that was also when I was super in love with her. I was trying to make a good impression. What better way to do it? That's the reason it took so long. That moment. No, it was being four foot ten. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. But yeah, we're going to go in. Oh, sweet. People are leaving now. Yes. Nice. So yeah, we're gonna go in and jump around jump and around. <laughs> jump, jump, jump around. Or is it bounce around? It's jump. Bounce around. Jump around. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ow. I'm so sorry. Ouch! Frick, that hurt. 
Did I hit your eye? What did I hit? No, up here. I'm so sorry. Ooh, lost some brain cells there. Yeah, no kidding. I wonder if you can hear it. See ya. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go jump around hoping that bonky other on the head. Yeah, if we did it in a car, then we'll probably do it on a trampoline. Bye. bye. Okay, so we came inside. <laughs> First of all, they gave us socks with grippies on the bottom, which is kind of fun. And there's literally no one else here. <laughs> which, I mean, I'm not really surprised about. And also, the guy was not incredibly friendly. Because he's probably used to interact with 12 year olds and down. Probably. <laughs> We've been here for five minutes. <laughs> Jack also just hit me in the neck with a dodgeball. <laughs> like we're really out of breath. <sighs> Sarah Beth Marlowe from the U.S. is making her first showing at the Trampoline Olympics. Ready? Here we go. Oh! I'm actually impressed. Look how cute she is. Not only she can she flip, but she can make YouTube videos. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> well, this is fun to watch. <laughs> the other competitor for Team USA, Jack Cavanaugh Graham. Here we go. His chosen walk up song. <laughs> Be careful, don't throw them on the trampoline. We get disqualified from the Olympics. Hello! Sorry, I totally forgot to end the vlog, but I'm ending it now. So, we had so much fun. We literally, like, were so exhausted. So, I was just totally pooped and totally free. <laughs> Got to end the vlog. So, we had a super fun day. The Incredibles was awesome. The trampoline park was so much fun. And yeah that's it i just wanted to come on and say goodbye to you all so i hope you all enjoyed it and i'll see you again soon